you got to really believe in yourself and don't just believe in yourself in the bed laying down every day like you got to go you got to go don't wait on nobody pray yes pray but work hard at the same time people just be waiting for stuff to happen you got to get up yeah, me said that till the go, my life be like yo Never vill jag kunna ge tillbaka allt jag inte kunna ge förut Det finns ingen annan där som kan stå här by my side, oh why Så att du rör på det få mig och dö för det baby Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you so much for watching one of my videos once again and if you're new here i'd like to welcome you i hope you just stay and become a part of my journey as i become dr andy welcome once again to a new vlog today is such a big day for us okay as you can see i am glowing as always i'm just kidding <laughs> as you can see i am about to do my makeup actually that's why my skin is all glowy and prepped Today we are going to the DSTV Content Creator Awards and what's more special about it is because we have been nominated so we might bring an award back, you know, we don't know. So yeah, I am currently still in Cape Town. It is around 8 to 9ish in the morning. The awards start around at half past 5. So I'm going to do my makeup here and then I'm going to catch a flight to Joburg around 1, I'm going to land around 3 and then from there I'm going to check in at a hotel and change there and then go to the location so I'm going to take you guys with me today I hope you do enjoy the vlog I'm quite excited most importantly I am quite excited to see how my face is going to look like and I am also with my favorite makeup artist Gigi Beauty. Do you wanna? Do you wanna be on the vlog? I don't really? have makeup though. It's fun. <laughs> you look so pretty, girl. She literally does the best makeup in Cape Town. You should check her out. I'll take her down below. <laughs> We're just getting ready. And yeah, I'm so excited, guys. Please do like this video and comment and enjoy. Hey, uh, You at the wrong time Then you caught me on that one night Girl, I wanna know How this thing get out of my controls Zip line into your timeline Hey, that body don't lie I didn't care for the hype, yeah But when I saw you tonight Ooh, girl You know just what you do And I'll go a thousand miles To show you that I'm right For your love, hey Keep breaking nights when you passing them by Make sure they know that you take and love in your vibe Let's be forever tonight And I will let you make up your mind But I can't wait When you coming over Let me be your chauffeur Oh my god, I look like a doll. I look like a whole doll. I love this eye thing that's going on. I'm not a fan of big lashes, but wow, I love these ones. 
I really do. Oh my god, girl. Thank you so much. <gasps> oh my god, you killed it. You killed it. You killed it. Hey guys, I'm currently at the airport. It's actually so loud here. Yeah? Let me check if I can. Let me see if I can show you my outfits. No ways. It's not working. I have to reverse like a kilometer for you guys to see. I'll try a new position. Um, I'm still walking to my boarding gate. Actually, I just found a desk somewhere here, and um, I needed to like reply to a few messages. I had option before I go find this boarding gate. So yeah. Anyway, it's almost half past. 12 my flight is boarding at quarter to one and yeah guys this is my hair this is actually a pondo I bought a while ago in this Chinese shop and I just put gel in the salon and then I put the pondo on and I was like I don't want something extra because we're gonna be in scrubs on Monday so I gotta be able to balance this double life you know I can't be installing wigs and stuff in fact I'm not a wig person so I don't know what I'm talking about but anyway matter of fact is that I just needed a simple hairstyle that that I'm gonna be able to go to school with this coming week um, yeah that's still within my personality or whatever that is so yeah i am so excited guys like i can't stop looking at myself um let's go catch this flight and yeah let me see if i can show you guys my vlog So we're leaving in 15 minutes. Uh, I am so hungry. I didn't eat. The last time I ate was breakfast. And honestly, with this makeup, I'm gonna eat with a straw because I don't want it to more sugar, okay? But I might buy something to drink or snack here in the flight. And Cape Town weather is actually chilly today. 
so I love that because you know I won't sweat a lot and my makeup won't melt but I don't know how Joburg is looking like I didn't look at the weather but then I'm not gonna be outdoors in Joburg oh when I arrive at Aura Tampa around 3 and then from there I'm gonna get into an Uber no actually they're gonna fetch me from the airport to the hotel signing in and then from there to the hour so there's no way I'm gonna be under the sun or whatever so that's good that's good anyway i'm still so excited and i'm so shocked that this is me who looks like this but Hello, I think we should have our events often so that you guys can see this space a little bit more you know <laughs> My room is on the fourth floor and it is so cute. I'm trying to find my way around. I think it's room 415. So I have to go this way. Yo, Sana. Mungala Hey, bro, is this door locked? Maybe I'm supposed to use this card. Am I? Yes. Damn. Okay, let's see. Hello. And then. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Four, one, five. It's so dark in here. It is so dark in here. I don't even know where to go. Four, one, eight. Eight four zero eight four one two. Where's four one five? Okay. Let's see this. Yo oh, guys, the light is so bad because also I'm using my my phone to vlog, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, that might be my room. And that's if I still remember that it's really 415. Let's see if this works. Oh. What am I supposed to do? Oh, it does work. Oh, God. Ooh. It's giving luxury. It's so hot in here though. Oh guys, I'll give you a proper tour in a minute. Let's try and get some fresh air. Oh my God. This view is totally not giving. Hebana, is it safe? I'm literally trying to open here for the balcony, just for air, cause this room is hot. But what's happening here? I'm not sure if it's safety, child. Let me open just a bit because I really need air. I really need some air. Hey, bro. Is it safety now? That's my question. You. She's a wami. It looks like an informal settlement because. I can see signs that are people leaving. You see a blanket there hanging. And I can see a person on their phone in there. Sure, let me stop vlogging people. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
Let's focus on the brighter side, gestern. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, I am in the bathroom because the light in the room was not giving. I think I lost my camera. In fact, I think I forgot my camera in the plane because my last memory of my camera was literally in the airplane. I don't remember me taking it with me and I don't remember me holding it anyway from when I got off the plane to, because I just used the bathroom and then I was waiting for an Uber and in the Uber I realized that oh my god I haven't been updating people on my vlog therefore I haven't seen my camera in a while where is my camera and then I started panicking looked in my bag I'm gonna look again I couldn't find it so I came to a conclusion that my camera is in the plane fingers crossed because that means I still have a chance to get it back okay now that we are here let me give you guys a bathroom tour obviously the toilet <laughs> I love the toilet paper situation it is just like hanging there somewhere <laughs> It looks cool, but anyway, there's so much so much space in this bathroom a huge huge shower his and his Basins whatever Why are my buttons open? Jesus anyway and Yeah, there's nothing much actually And then a huge mirror that's me yeah that's it the storage space here obviously not gonna use it and it's actually a cute shower i think they have stuff over there to use for showering which is nice and yeah let's check the room out okay so this is the tour of the room it's actually so warm in here i feel like a heater is open but i can't see it so you have the mirror they have a tv and you have your coffee area and your cupboard space whatsoever a safe to keep your gun or your million dollars that you've just stolen and yeah that's where i was showing you when i was trying to open for fresh air and this is the bed i love the wallpaper you have your two headlamps on and yeah it's such a huge bed and as you can see on the bed my outfit um of the night can't wait to put it on i want to call them to ask if they have a, a steamer because this outfit needs to be steamed so let me get ready quickly guys i'll show you when i'm ready i'm so sad that i don't have my camera with me because now the quality won't be as crisp but i know you guys will stick with me forever till the end of the vlog that's why i love you i'm very much late so i have to put my necklace on and tie this thing properly but that's the outfit of the night Sunday, 
She said, baby, what you gon' do about it? Loving your vibe, girl That energy got me going Yeah, that thing's so vibrant I wanna know if you can give me the keys to your heart, baby Introduce myself. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how to act. I like you guys. Sorry to be rude. Sorry to be rude. I didn't introduce you guys to our new gorgeous friend over here. Her name is Grace. 
she is hard work she is dedication she is consistency she is favor she's many things she's many things but to me she is everything she's everything i am trying to find words you get what i'm saying i am trying to get this awkwardness out of the way first of all light 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 conversation it is two weeks after i've attended the dstv content creator awards and by now you can tell we won okay don't let me go through this we won we won but okay it's been two weeks ever since i attended i have not been posting anything on youtube as you might have seen ever since then i remember i took a i decided to take a two-week break before the awards because i felt like yo i was just going through the most and then um last week was when i was supposed to return to youtube but i did not return i'm only making a return now this weekend obviously you'll see this video a bit later but it is because this girl over here decided you know what it is a beautiful day to leave your camera in the flight like i saw it fit that before the awards let me just leave my camera in the flight and go on with my life guys i felt like nkaluma flight ew like i when i was in the uber from the airport i was like <laughs> hi bo the camera am i like i am not in possession of my camera because when i was traveling to the awards i was trying to shoot like a tiktok vlog and a, a youtube vlog the same time so there was a point where i was just handling my phone handling the camera and i am bad at holding stuff like i don't know how many stuff in my life that i have left because i was holding like i can leave my phone anywhere i can leave my bag i simply forget every time i put something down i move on with my life like it was never in my hand luckily i didn't leave this camera at a random place at the airport I left it in the flight and I was able to get it like I was able to get hold of it but the thing that sucks is that I didn't get to vlog during the awards so I only got to take a few clips with my phone and my phone actually decided you know what it is the best time to run out of battery out of all times in the world let me just run out of battery now so that she doesn't take clips of anything that tonight she doesn't vlog she so guys I come to you humble humble and humble and yeah deeply sorry deeply sorry i tried to gather each and every clip that i had of that event and show it to you guys but the most important thing is that we won so um coming to the awards i everything like there was a point where i thought i was not gonna go to the awards because like you know everything was just expensive you know getting outfit hair done flights makeup and all that stuff i was broke at that time i was like yo i might not go to the awards you know but anyway all that happened and i made it to the awards and coming to the awards i came with i don't know like answering the question of that person who asked me did i know that i was gonna win i mean having going through all the phases of imposter syndrome anxiety thinking i was not gonna win and just being grateful that i got nominated that day of the awards i had such a strong feeling that I was gonna win 
I know that's crazy. I don't know if you want to call it the Lulu or you want to call it Faith, but I call it Faith. I call it Faith. So when I was traveling in the flight, I was like, you know what? Actually, let me draft down a speech in case I win these awards. Obviously, I wasn't like hundred percent sure that I'm gonna take it because like I don't have any kind of reassurance, you know. By looking at whatever, it's odds are not for me so but i was like okay let me actually write down a speech to you know in just in case i win and obviously i didn't want like the speech of thank you to my mom thank you to my dad thank you to my parents like i didn't want to have that kind of speech i was like if i'm gonna go up to that stage and say something in a room in a room full of influential people it better be something kind of heavy it ha it better have a certain message because i love using a platform to deliver a certain message you know i do that on my tiktok i do that on my youtube like if you have people paying attention to you or listening to you i feel like that is your opportunity to actually deliver a message that will somehow impact their own life i don't think i don't see like when all eyes are on me i don't see it as a time to you know praise myself and be like oh thank you so much for me and whatsoever and it's it's not that time for me it's time for me to talk to the people and say maybe a message that will stick you know with them or say a message that would change them or whatever so I was like, okay, let me actually draft down a speech because if I'm going to go up to that stage, they better hear this. And if I'm not, then that's fine. So I wrote my speech while I was in the flight. And when I tell you throughout that day, I was memorizing that speech. Even when I got to the awards, my mind was still playing that speech over and over again i'm telling you like i was like memorizing it like i am going to do a prepared speech in class or something like that like oh, you'd find me saying like okay good morning good day ladies and gentlemen what's, 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 what's. you know i'll be literally speaking it with my mouth like <laughs> during the whole time of which the lulu can't go to that extent you know i feel like that was intense faith um and I didn't go there um, thinking I'm just accompanying people, you know, I am just gonna be there and enjoy the evening, whatever happens, happens. I went there with a, a thought that there's a huge possibility that I might win and I need to get my speech together. That's it, you know? And honestly, guys, you should practice this thing called faith. Whether you want to call it Delulu or faith, but I call it faith because faith, it is accompanied with prayer and it is accompanied with God. It's just not some crazy delusional thoughts, you know. And ah, when now the event was, you know, going, I was not relaxed throughout that night because I was like, I might win. You know, I'm a person who gets anxious if they feel like they're going to win compared to when i feel like i'm gonna lose like that has been me ever since high school like when i sit down for an exam and i look at the paper and i feel like i'm gonna get 100 percent that's when i start getting anxious but if i get it now and i'm like i might fail this i'm not getting anxious at all but anyway i was feeling anxious the whole night and somehow felt like something big is about to happen that's the anxiety i kind of had and now my category came and i was like to my sister girl this is my category take your phone out and film and she did and they were like the winner is becoming dr andy i stood up never shaked never stuttered like i knew this was gonna happen went to that stage took the trophy went to that mic and started saying my speech like we rehearsed this thing obviously my heart was still beating too fast and stuff like that but it wasn't a thing of oh my god i don't know what to say like i never thought i would ever make it never thought i would with guys because i've been working so hard day to day praying 
to God to you know elevate me and bless me and stuff I can't be coming here and acting like I am shocked I never worked a day in my life I never knew God a day in my life I never knew God what was God capable of I got to that stage and I was like <laughs> he did it again he did it again my God did it again and yeah enough 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 of talking anyways guys i would like to thank you on a serious note i'd like to thank you for being part of my journey as i become dr andy we started this journey last year but to be quite honest it's not only my journey it is our journey which means that it's not just me vlogging and me you know whatever whatever it's me actually sharing knowledge so that we can win so that we can excel so that we can go after our dreams so that we can smash our academic goals and that's why i'm saying this is not just my journey it is our journey i am taking you guys with me and i would like to thank you for your support everyone who watches Becoming Dr. Andy, who talks about Becoming Dr. Andy, who shares my videos, who comments, who follows me, who subscribes to my YouTube channel. I really, really appreciate you guys so much. You have made this journey easy to travel. Like being a medical student is not easy, especially coupled with content creation, but you guys, make this journey so fulfilling because i don't feel like i'm walking this journey alone but i'm walking it with you guys so thank you thank you thank you and i say to many more awards to many more knowledge sharing videos to many more big stages to many more nominations to many more you guys getting your you know I don't know like to just many more i pray i pray that we we as a team make it so far and i pray that god keeps on giving me this grace and this wisdom to continue to share with you guys the knowledge that i have and that you guys also receive it you know in a multiplied manner because you know every time i post a video i'm thinking or every time i shoot i'm thinking are these people even gonna hear what i'm saying or is this even helpful does it even, does it even make sense but when you guys receive it it seems like oh my god it is something that you've been waiting to hear and i pray that that keeps on happening like all the videos that i shoot it comes to you guys with this amplified kind of message and inspiration and all of that and I am deeply humbled and deeply grateful for how far I've for how far I've come I've been talking so hard that my mouth is actually so dry but yeah I'd like to thank you guys so much one more time for our new friend thanks guys the thing is i've been talking so much on this vlog that i think it might end here um i wanted to do like a couple of days outside school type of thing so i wanted to feature the awards in that vlog but now I feel like the vlog is just going to be too long because I've been talking for the past 20 minutes or so. So this might be the end of the video. So I guess this is only de dedicated to the DSTV content creator awards of which rightfully so because this is the biggest thing to ever happen to this channel. Um, but yeah, definitely I think I'm going to restart a new vlog then sharing my weekend so stay tuned for that stay tuned for that as i've said it's my birthday weekend so um not gonna share much because you're gonna find it on the next vlog yeah but yeah thank you guys for tuning in i hope you did enjoy the vlog and thank you for coming to my 
chit chat as well wherever you are keep on working hard keep on academically slaying and keep on keeping on keep the faith up keep believing in god never stop praying never stop believing in yourself bye